They say, they say if you drop a marble into a bucket in the first chair of a relationship, every time you have sex, and you take one marble out of that same bucket every time you have sex after the first year, there will always be marbles left. How many of y'all got that? I'm gonna say it again, if you don't get it this time, ask the person that was clapping next to you what the fuck I was talking about. They say if you drop a marble into a bucket in the first year of a relationship, every time you have sex, and you take one marble out of that same bucket every time you have sex after the first year, there will always be marbles left. There's a, there's a thin line between the neurotic, there's a thin line between the neurotic and erotic, doing wild things to a woman in bed and waking up feeling sorry about it. As for, have I ever done anything freaky in bed? Hell yeah, if she allowed it. As for, will I ever regret it, knowing me? Doubt it. Now, now, have I given her a bath or a shower? Come on, now, that would be like the third date. Did I massage you with oil or baby powder? Look, don't bite your tongue with me. See, that would be a mistake. You want to ask me something? Yo, this is live entertainment. Y'all can fucking talk, right? Don't, don't act like I'm HDTV up this motherfucker. Y'all want to ask me something? Act like y'all been drinking. Y'all want to ask me something? Ask me if I dripped hot candle wax into my fingertips and then massaged it into her nipples? And did the same thing to her behind so that it simultaneously stung and tickled? And when her behind had enough candle wax and it no longer felt good or hurt, ask me if I gave a back shot so sharp that the wax shot up into the air like fireworks. Ask for, did I go down on her? Y'all all quiet and shit. <laughs> see, see, now you got me all wrong. An amateur would have gone down on her. Me? I sat her right up on top of my tongue where she belonged. Where she could not get away. Where she had to just settle in for the day. With my biceps wrapped around her thighs, she just closed her eyes and enjoyed the ride the whole way. My ego does not need to be fed. Just to record everything that makes her hot inside my head and do things that normal human beings wouldn't even dream could be done between two people in a bed, but that's still accumulating marbles. They say long-term relationships are made up of three things. Engagement rings, wedding rings, and suffer ring. They say, they say you can judge the stage of a long-term relationship by the number of rooms you fuck through. See, in the beginning, you fuck all through the house. In the middle, you just fuck in the bedroom. And in the end, you pass each other the hallway and say, Psh, fuck you. But that's still accumulating marbles. But, but listen, lover, let's just say that was the first three days that we covered. Perhaps you and I could wrap a taste about how persistent bliss could be discovered. I mean, 40 years from now, I hope we could still share the same covers. We'd be like 70 years old, but doggy styling the arthritis out of each other. And, and we, could, and we could even cruise hotels if you think it would help to change the venue. We could break headboards all across the globe and slide the covers on the floor and just continue. And I'd play sexual healing, slide out my dentures, and put the fear of my gums in you. And do some room service role play in between gray pubic hairs with an X-rated menu, and we would still do 69s at 99 while I scream, Say this pussy is mine. And if and if we're fortunate, perhaps you and I would get to come and go at the same time. My time transcending lover, keeping me hard into my tomorrows. Losing my years is a beautiful thing, but baby. Sweet Gangsta Midnight, it's better when I'm also losing my marbles.